we go guys, another day out here driving the big toys and today's gonna be a scary one because I'm gonna be driving this into the pond. This is what Chris did the other day, but he is quite literally an expert and I've only driven this thing like four or five times now. So uh, I'm gonna try to do what he did, drive it in so we can get all the stuff we can't reach, pile it here so I can come back out and then we just have one final haul of digging that to the dump truck and off to the field. And then we should be done and we should have dug all the dirt out that we need to make this beautiful and to build the motocross track out in the field. I'm so hyped the amount of dirt we're getting because we're gonna have so many jumps and bumps and hills. It's gonna be really fun. Well, Carter's Life, here we go. We're gonna be doing something pretty crazy where we're driving this thing into the pond. It's definitely a little bit scary, but knowing that Chris has done it, is reassuring. I think what he did is he put his bucket way out here like that. I believe these are his tracks here. All right, Matt thinks this looks okay. I don't know why he had his bucket out so long, but he did something like that. Okay, so buckets on the ground and now we're going into the danger zone driving off this ledge. I saw him drive like this. Oh, Matt's coming over. You're putting too much weight on the arm. You're, you're, you're picking up the machine, try and just walk it down with the arm, you know? Okay, so we are going... Oh, we are sliding. Oh my gosh. We just slid in. It feels like there's no way we're going back out. Okay, but we are... We're, all, we're down. I think we made it. <laughs> Okay, I think we made it down. That is great. <laughs> Woo! All right, so now we get to start digging. We're good. Okay, great. So now that we're down here, this is pretty cool. I've seen a lot of this from above, you know, digging it out. But my gosh, if we can sit back and relax and really start digging. I gotta basically get, well, all of this. We got rain coming. Carter's leaving for the weekend, so I've got to get in there and help so we can get this done as fast as possible. So I'm gonna hop in the skid steer and just drive it into the pond with him, and uh, hopefully I don't get it stuck. Worst case, I threw some chains in the back of the truck and we can just drag it out with the excavator. So fingers crossed. I can't let I can't let him have all the fun. So to help with this project, Matt decides he's gonna drive this thing down the skiddy. Here he goes. Oh boy, looks okay. Looks like he's doing fine. And he's down. All right, and now we have two machines down here to worry about. Two machines to get unstuck, because I'm sure they're both stuck. Oh my gosh. I can't uh, let you have all the fun. I'm trying to figure out now what do we do? <laughs> Yeah, talking about last to leave heavy machine. Last to leave pond. <laughs> Burger's life, it's time to start having some fun. So we got the Hummer H1 and we have all of the dirt. I did a little bit of test here to see if it's dry enough. You can see it's squished in actually quite a bit, particularly over there, you can really see it's squished in, but I don't think so much so that I'm gonna get stuck. So I'm gonna try to send this whole thing all the way, climb up it and go all the way up and back down the other side. You can see there's some dirt bike trails. So I, I hope it's dried out more than this. I mean, it feels pretty good. I'm walking on it, but it also rained a ton last night. So it's hard to say if that's just like a crust on the top, but we're gonna just try it. Uh, I'm kind of out here solo, so if I get stuck, there's no coming out. This, you can see it was like concrete. Like, I mean, that's still water right there. Oh, this is soft. That is soft. Okay. So we'll find out. The Hummer weighs like 8,000 pounds. It is four wheel drive. I have it in four low. I got the front and rear diff locks on. So we should be pretty good to go. It's gonna do the best it can, but if it gets stuck, it gets stuck. I kind of have it in the best settings as of right now. I got it in low. 
diff locks. Oh, fronts are off. Interesting. Well, I got the rear lock, so we'll just leave the rear for now. Let's drop this into drive. Low drive diff locks on. And let's see how this goes. Here we go. Just drive it up on this line. Oh, we're kind of sliding. Okay, we're moving. I'm gonna turn off here because those piles look insane. Okay, that actually did pretty good. That did pretty good. Okay, let's turn around and maybe attack it from the other side. These piles are just so tall. I don't know about this one. This one could be way softer. It's rough. It's. Ooh. I mean, we could get stuck at any point. Oh, I think we're getting stuck right now. Yeah, okay. So let's just see if we can't just roll right out of here. Oh boy. So now we officially have two machines here at the bottom of the lake. We have, of course, the big excavator we just drove down, which I think is gonna have a hard time coming out. And then Matt couldn't help himself, so he brought the little skid steer down. It feels so small in here compared to you. Yeah, this looks insane. We have a lot of work to do, but only a few hours to get it done. And there's a last minute rain projected for today, of course. So that's gonna be a real problem. If these are in here when it rains, this will be underwater. I mean, you can see the drain pipes all the way over there are probably about this high on the cap, so this machine would be gone. And the excavator may or may not be okay, but it certainly will be stuck. So this is my first time actually hopping out and walking on the dry bottom. It's, you know, it's got some water, but it's pretty dry. Matt's got his machine down here to see if he just wants to get stuck, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I honestly just want to get stuck. This is gonna be pretty interesting. And check this out, guys. I'm still fascinated by this stuff. It's blue. It's like blue gravel. The color is so interesting. I mean, we're literally parked in a creek. Yeah, that is true. This is such a blue, gray, greenish color. It's amazing. And that seems to be the natural bottom. So once we dig all the muck down to that, that's how we know we made it. So here we go. Matt is going to kind of put it in the He just drove down here, but he's going to kind of drive back up. Uh, Not even close. Yeah, there's no way. I think we're stuck, stuck. Yeah. All right, Matt, the clouds are rolling in, which means the rain is coming. We gotta go before this thing floods. <laughs> but if it floods, we are in big, big trouble. These machines don't like water, not like that. So I'm leaving this edge on the left side for now, just so the water doesn't go in all this working space. This edge here. But kind of both edges. On, oh, right. Yeah. Obviously this edge is gonna be left today, but on the left side too. Yeah. Because I want to keep that channel, the water going here, because if I go, if I break it, it'll start flooding into any deep spots over there. Right. Um, so I'm gonna keep working like I am, and I'm gonna just keep chipping towards the, the tube. But you can come behind me and I'll, I'll leave all this mess, which is hard for me to grab. Right. And then you can work that and start putting it on this edge. Yeah, I guess somehow we have to make sure we don't collide with each other. Um, How much swing do I have over my tracks? Uh, yeah, I'm not so worried about your rear. I can stay away from that. I okay. guess I just need to watch out for your arm swinging around. Yeah. So you're digging up there. Yeah, I'll keep just... Okay, and I'm going to work over here then behind you. Yeah, so just leave this edge so the water stays contained. So I'll do a sloppy job yeah. so I can move faster. Great. And then I'll just get all the way to the pipe and then you'll just be behind me just fixing all the stuff behind. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Well, we put in some huge work. It looks great out here. We have the past, biggest pile, but it's still kind of wet, so it does slot back in. So we really need to just start chipping away at this and getting it back to the field. But the back edge right there is all clean. It's all done. Everything we can't reach once we climb back out is done. But hopefully we can reach all of this in the high end drive. That is going to be crazy. So here we go, and we're trying it. Spin her around. We're just gonna go ahead and get her lined up. Okay, well, here we go. And so I don't tip, 
and maybe I'm doing this backwards. We are going to spin around this way and have the arm kind of supporting me as I go up. Okay, we might need to do... Well, we are kind of stuck. Okay, we're gonna try to pull. embarrassing. Oh boy, that would be really bad. Let's try to get those front diffs locked, which I think, how does this thing work? I'm always so confused. Okay, now we have the fronts, fronts locked, rears locked. Let's see if that'll help us just walk out. Well, I must have sat, I must have did everything wrong. I came in real slow and I probably just sunk and got high centered. And that sounds like the exhaust is hitting or something. That doesn't sound good. But I mean, look how close I am from not being stuck. I mean, like an inch. Oh my gosh. What am I, what did I get myself into? I'm out here in the backyard and no one's around. I just hear the slightest tug. That exhaust sounds like it's rubbing the dirt. Why does it sound like that? How am I stuck? There's a world I can get it out, but it, it feels like I need a little tug. Oh, well, I mean, here's the look. I'm also noticing something on the tire. No way. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, I thought the tire was chunking. It's just the mud kind of created an illusion. Okay, tires are not chunking. We're okay, but I think we're stuck. And we may have to call Matt to tug me out on a Sunday. Ugh. All right, well, let's try a couple more wiggles and see if we can't just get it to do something. Because we're only like one foot away from getting unstuck. I'm just spinning tires, hoping that maybe, just maybe we can get it to like, get out. Gosh, it's just not wanting to do anything. We're gonna have to call Matt. It's weird that the fronts aren't staying locked. Maybe they unlock at some speed is maybe what it is. We're officially stuck, stuck. Time to call Matt. Before I even went, I said, I think the Hummer will climb these dirt piles easy, to which Matt responded, Oh, definitely. Ranger seems like it would, which is the little red truck. So if that could do it, the Hummer definitely could. And then a few minutes later, I say, I'm stuck. And Matt is like, oh boy. Do you need me to come drag you out, LOL? Yep. <laughs> I gotta send him the photo of how barely stuck it is. He's gonna laugh. Let's see what Matt says. Oh boy. <laughs> so Matt says he's on his way, which is great. He'll be here any minute, but I'm noticing a light on the dash. Now, that looks like the front diff lock. Very similar to that without the lock. But I turned both of those diff locks off to see if that would turn off, but it doesn't. And it's hard to find info on Hummer H1s. And so like, I'm gonna try to Google that, but if you guys know what that is, let me know. What does that mean? Does that mean there's, it feels like an error, like it's not disconnecting, which can be a problem. Oh, that'd give me such a headache if that's true. Oh, he's bringing the skitty. Oh my, oh, he's bringing, he's got a whole crew. That is funny. I wonder, he, Matt must, so Matt must be in the skid steer. We got a whole entourage to get me unstuck. I'm just barely stuck. Look how embarrassing it is. It's not even stuck. I can't believe it. Well, well, I want to get it out and try it again and see if I can't conquer with a little bit of speed. I went so slow testing it. I just didn't think it was that soft. Well, we're going to have to try it again, maybe tomorrow with the monster truck. 
Oh, that thing's gonna be so sick to take through there. There's no way that's getting stuck in the mud. Okay, my turn. Where do you want me to sit to try to help you get out? That's about as far as I can go, and I'm maybe touching the asphalt a little bit. Here, you can pull me out, we'll take. Maybe we're going bucket to bucket or something. And my bucket doesn't bend the right way. That's holding my breath the whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got him out. Woo! That was sick. That was sick. That was awesome. It's almost like we know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> There's Matt. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't make it too far. Nope. <laughs> I did the whole other Wait. pile coming up. Did you leave it running in reverse? Maybe. You love doing that. Have I done that before? You've done that with like a lot I mean, of It's things. not going anywhere. You did it with the fire truck. Ew. It's not going anywhere. I put it uh, front and rear lockers on and low, and it was absolutely was dr you, uh, absolutely drifting. But now I got a, a flashing light on the dash. Oh, a diff fun. locker. So maybe it's having troubles releasing or something. I don't know. Huh. Okay. Maybe if I just roll out, it'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, I'd probably need the smallest tug. Yeah, right. And then I kind of want to try it again. Might as well. Might as well. We got the, the, the crew here. The recovery staff. I really didn't think I was going to get stuck. I mean, I had the diff lockers on. I didn't think you'd get stuck with diff lockers. It did that one great. I went all the way up and turned off right here. I didn't go over this. Well, here's the recovery. And uh, let's see if she'll just walk right out. I guess I did leave it in reverse. Matt is right. Oh, and now I'm low fuel. Okay, here we go. Small tug. Yep. How could it be this stuck? Oh boy. Oh! I got sprayed. Alright. Let's put her in park. See, I still got that light that's sketching me out. It's a bit, uh... I can't believe that. Dude, I was... I mean, maybe the skister's not the greatest at pulling things out, but like... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty deep i mean i sunk all oh, the way yeah, down you were sitting on the frame that's why yeah well i can go do that run again i'll show you how easy that was yeah and if i had a little bit of speed i might have been able to hydroplane it a little bit if you were to hit this like it's speed yeah you'd probably at least make it to the middle even just some and momentum then... so look at this light in here on the far right of the dash yeah it's scary it's flashing really fast yeah i would turn off the diff locks i did oh you did yep oh shoot Oh, and you're out of gas, too. Disconnecting. And then we go a good old high, and we good old drive. And we're good. Okay, so there's just wasn't... I think it just needed to be... Oh, yeah, just that didn't... part of the brake feels good. And the dump truck wouldn't feel like that. So it just needed to be released, I guess. I just needed to be toggled again, yeah. Yeah. We're officially unstuck in a celebrate. We're going back into the mud. We're going to try that first pile one more time. Oh, that looks crazy, guys. Check this out. Mud pile, skiddy with the light, and that's the moon through the trees. It looks insane. All right, we're gonna drop her in the low. We'll put the rear diffs on. We'll just do that. Okay, here we go. All day long, easy. Oh, that was great. That was awesome all of this could have been so bad it just happened to not be just by chance that worked it was literally like we like our machines held hands and pulled each other out we were bucket to bucket Dude, I, like I, <laughs> I didn't realize your bucket was smaller than mine oh yeah i guess i thought yours would be, would be bigger and i was like whoa that's a tiny bucket that's yeah, a it's a t-spin yeah that actually worked really well well i, I was ready to hop out and pull the chains out i'm worried this is slopping past my reach I know. We don't start moving. Dude, that looks really good. Now that I'm up here. Yeah, it looks it great. It looks like a disaster when you're down there. Oh, it's just a lot. I sure hope whatever we do it's on like this I'm side, I can reach. This is a lot of dirt, dude. Yeah, this is a ton. It looks great, though. Like, yeah. this is incredible. Is that was a lot of work in that amount of time. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just just watching you guys out this last section was sick because you just see it all come together. Like, yeah. Like big pond. When you're cool. down there, it doesn't really feel. Can you go cut on that guy? feel like you're doing much. Right, right. It's like, it's hard to tell. But uh, wow, it looks really good. I'm worried this is wet and it's flowing. We just can't see it because it's slow. I know. And it's gonna go past our midpoint. Yeah, I know. 
so I think we need to. I think we need to start getting it out. I don't know how much time I have left. We did an incredible amount of work in a short period of time, but we're we're out of time now. And best case scenario is we got the machines out. The rain's coming. We're gonna have to just wait for the rain to pass, just to fill back up, drain it back out, and then the final haul is this huge pile of dirt, which is going to probably at least double what we have out in the field to add to our motocross track. Once this is done, we'll do a little cleanup job and then we're gonna be off motocross and building jumps, bumps, hills, turns, and berms. It's gonna be absolutely insane. We literally had an abandoned motocross track under this lake, but once it's dug out and this is, now that it's almost dug out, when it fills up, it's gonna look beautiful. See you guys on the next episode of Carter's Life. Woo!